is Dr. Anita Mishra, BN Assistant Professor, Biani Group of Colleges. Today, I am going to deliver a lecture on plant tissue culture technique on the behalf of GuruKPO.com. What is plant tissue culture technique? Plant tissue culture technique is a technique by which we can develop a whole plant using any of the tissues or cells or organ of the plant. Generally, we can develop a plant by using embryo or zygote of the plant. But by this technique, we can develop a whole plant by using any of the tissue of the plant. Okay? This technique is based on the property of the plant cells known as totipotency. Now, what is totipotency? Totipotency is the ability of a plant cell to develop into a whole organism and this property is based on the fact that all the cells of a plant have same, gen same genetic constitution. So, as the embryonic cells have ability to develop into a whole plant, so a part, any of the cell must give rise to a whole plant if you provide them the proper conditions. So, for this we need two conditions, we have to provide them sterile conditions. and proper nutrient media. Under the sterile condition, we, uh, the, any of the microorganisms will not use the nutrient media that we are providing to the pl explant or the plant part that we, from which we want to give rise to a whole plant. And we have to provide them a proper nutrient media so that they can grow and develop into a whole organism that is the whole plant. And the proper nutrient media that we are providing them should contain these particular constituents. These are the inorganic nutrients, organic nutrients, carbon source, growth hormones and solidifying agents. Inorganic nutrients include all the mineral components and they include the micronutrients and the macronutrients. Organic nutrients include all the uh, organic components like amino acids, carbon sources, etc. And we also use the carbon source, generally glucose and sucrose is used as a carbon source to provide the energy. Growth hormones are used for the growth, inducing growth in the particular cells that we, from which we want to develop the whole plant. Growth hormone concentration give rise, uh, give rise to the rooting and shooting into the plant part. Okay? Generally, uh, high, high oxygen concentration and low cytokinin concentration give rise to the rooting and high cytokinin concentration and low oxygen concentration give rise to the shooting. Okay? Now, solidifying agent is the agar agar that we use. Okay? Now, these are the steps that we use in the plant tissue culture technique. First, we take the X plant, the plant part from which we want to develop a whole plant. The plant part can be the shoot tip, anther, axillary bird, leaf part, any of the part. Okay? Then, we want to remove any of the contamination from the part because we are taking the plant from the field. So, it may contain any of the fungi, bacteria. So, we want to remove the contamination. So, we, we will wash them, the, them with the mild detergent, T pole, 5 to 6 times. Okay, then we wash them with the distilled water to remove the detergent also. So, now we got the pure plant. Now, we want to remove more of the contamination by using the 0.2 percent bavestine treatment. Bavestine is used to remove the fungi, okay, so that there may not be any fungal contamination and this treatment may vary between 5 minutes and 10 minutes. For some of the explants, 5 minutes is sufficient and for some of the explants, 10 minutes is sufficient. Now, this explant is again washed with 0.1 percent HGCL2 treatment and this treatment depends on the condition of the plant and according to the explant. This may be 2 minutes, 4 minutes, 6 minutes, 8 minutes. We have to devise the particular time. Okay? And this is done in the laminar airflow. Laminar airflow is a particular chamber. Okay, that provides the sterile condition and the, uh, this process is done in the laminar flow. We take the explant from the field, then we uh, sterilize the explant by using uh, detergent, then bavestine 
and then we take the explant to the laminar airflow that particular chamber where there is no contamination even uh, small microorganisms are not present in the laminar airflow. So, we are providing very sterile conditions. Okay? Now, this explant is now sterilized, it is free of contamination and we are performing our operation, our process in sterile conditions. Now, we have to uh, establish this sterile, sterilized explant on the establishment media. The media that contain all the nutrient components, these are the nutrient components that we need. Okay? We inoculate, the process is known as inoculation. What is inoculation? Inoculation is transferring the explant on the establishment media. Now, we uh, inoculate the explant on the establishment media. Okay? Now, after 5, uh, 2, 3 weeks, we see that the explant will develop, will give rise to either a callus, callus is a mass of undifferentiated cells or it may give rise to rooting or shooting also. Okay? Now, the, uh, when the callus and sh uh, shoots are developed, these callus and sprouted birds are transferred to the multiplication media because this media will exhaust it in some days, then we need another new media. Okay? This media, in, we transfer the sprouted birds in the multiplication media. Okay, then we wait for two to three weeks. Okay, after the, these two to three weeks, we perform the multiplication process. Okay, then we again and again transfer the sprouted uh, sprouted birds into the uh, another media, and we multiply the particular plant. So we can produce a large number of clones of the per, that particular plant cell, that particular mother plant. Okay, by using this technique and these uh, these then the, uh, these uh, multiplication process is repeated again and again and these shoots are elongated. They are provided the neutral media for elongation. Now when the elongation has, we see there is sufficient elongation of shoot, then we perform the rooting. We provide them the rooting media because after shooting, we have to do the rooting. When, we, uh, when the shoots and roots both are developed, we have, uh, we, we get a plant, we get a plant. That was our particular purpose of this technique. Okay, we wanted to develop a plant from the plant tissue culture technique. Now we have developed a plant. Now this plant we have developed in sterilized condition in the laboratory condition. But now we have to uh, take this plant from the laboratory conditions to the field conditions. Okay, so this plant must survive in the field conditions also. For this, we have to do a process which is known as hardening or acclimatization. What is hardening and acclimatization? Hardening and acclimatization is making the uh, very sensitive plant ha uh, hard and enough capable to survive into the external conditions of the environment. Okay? For this, we take the, uh, laborate, the plant we have developed in laboratory to the greenhouse. We take the plant to the greenhouse. So, this process is done in the greenhouse. Okay? When, the, when we get the hardened plant and we get a plant that is sufficient to able to survive in the greenhouse, then we can survive this plant to the field, this we can survive this plant to the soil. In this way, we can get many plant varieties. Okay? Um, the main use of this technique is to produce the clones, a large number of clones of a particular plant in less time, okay? in less time and uh, the technique is known as micro propagation. Thanks for watching my video. Keep watching, subscribe and give comments on this video. Thank you.